hello guys welcome to the next video on bootstrap tutorial for beginners in this video we will see how to use jumbotron in bootstrap so let's get started till now we have uh, made our navigation bar and footer so i will write this code between the navigation bar code and the footer code so just go between that and in here just add a div tag here so div class and we will import the container class here so container and uh, after this container we will just uh, close this div tag and inside this uh, div tag we will add one more div tag and this time instead of uh, container we will add a class called jumbotron okay and i will save it and i will just open it in my browser and you will see a small gray area just below your navigation bar which is this one and this is due to this jumbotron class so jumbotron you can use whenever you want to highlight some content in your web page right and for example uh, you want to add some html markup inside your jumbotron how you can do it you can do it easily for example h1 tag so i will just add a h1 tag like this and i will just write something so hello world for example okay and i will save it and i will refresh this page now you will see this hello world like this okay but right now this hello world is not uh, aligned at the center right now it's aligned as a default on the left right so to align this hello world on the center you just need to add just go after this jumbotron and just add text minus center okay so text center and save it and refresh your page and now your text is aligned at the center right now sometimes you may want to cover whole width of your web page using jumbotron right now it's uh, leaving this white area and this white area uh, on the left and right hand side so to cover this what you need to do is you just need to just cut your jumbotron div tag from here and just paste it above your container right so earlier it was below the container right just paste it above the container and now what will happen let's refresh the page and you see it covers the whole width of your web page so it's on you uh, what kind of uh, you know jumbotron design you want right now uh, you are seeing here you may observe here that this jumbotron is merging with your nav bar right so in order to resolve this uh, not a problem but this uh, little uh, you know confusion what we can do is we can make a new css class which is our custom css class so i will make a new custom css so i will save it as custom.css right and i will save it inside my css folder in my bootstrap folder so this is my css folder inside my bootstrap where my bootstrap css and other css files are saved and this custom css file i will save it there right and then in the index.html file i will just uh, include this custom.css file so go to the location where you have included your bootstrap.min.css file and in here i will just copy and paste this uh, bootstrap.min.css and instead of bootstrap.min.css i will just add custom.css right custom.css so it will include this custom.css which is also in the css uh, folder in your bootstrap folder and now you just need to go to your custom.css and you just need to give some uh, style to it so to the body just uh, write body here 
and to the body we will add a style padding top and we will uh, add for example 70 px here so 70 pixel and to the padding bottom padding bottom we will add 20 pixel okay so 20 px okay and now save this and once again refresh your page and now you will see between your navigation bar and your jumbotron there is a padding here there is a space here okay so if you want to add some uh, padding here you can add it like this now for example uh, you want to add some more uh, content to your uh, jumbotron you can just add some more html text for example i will add a paragraph tag here which i have already created just below this uh, h1 tag okay and it, this is some random text and i will save it and then i will refresh my page and now it will look like this okay so you can add your html markup to this jumbotron like this you can add buttons you can add some uh, different uh, you know tables or any html markup here and uh, i will show you in the next video how you can add buttons to this jumbotron or uh, to this uh, bootstrap web page in general so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now